Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Robert Thompson Nishan. I'm a final year student at St. John's University. Um, in today's video, I want to share with you guys my rotation in pharmacy administration and basically go over, you know, like um, what the rotation was about, my daily task, and as well as my overall impression of the rotation. So I'm just going to share with you guys a quick little video showing off the intro of like, how I commuted to work every day. If you want to skip that part, I'll leave a timestamp down below. Um, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so I hope you guys really enjoyed the opening clip. Um, just basically showing my commute to work every day from uh, Queens to New York. Um, it was very interesting just like being on a bus that like instead of being on a train, which is pretty fun. But um, yeah, so this rotation was really different than what I'm used to. Cause usually, you usually experience the clinical like pharmacist in a hospital or like a um, the, uh, retail pharmacist that works in um, retail. Um, but this one's a lot different because you're basically using your clinical expertise to like manage the full hospital system. So basically my rotation was called the Health System um, Advanced Pharmacy Practice Experience. Which basically means that like I'm actually working in a group of hospitals. I'm working in the central office. So basically um, I'm trying to work on things that the pharmacy goes through for the entire like hospital system. So it can be each individual hospital as well as the entire hospital system together. So um, let's get right into my tasks that I had to do. Um, the first main task I had to do was the formulary. So basically what a formulary is, is just basically a group of, uh, list of medications that are covered under the hospital slash are available to the hospital. And it just shows like the standard of practice, like what do we use for every single indications. And it basically just like shares all that in one place. So I had to make sure I updated it, make sure because um, we constantly had, which I'm gonna go into next, the PNT committee and constantly updating the formula as well as drugs that are discontinued, drugs that have shortages, stuff like that. So that way, in the future, if anybody can order medication, they know what medications are covered or what medications we usually have in stock. So that'd be a lot easier for them for their process. On top of that, I had other responsibilities to do. So another responsibility I had to do was um, working on drug information questions. So drug information questions can be a lot different depending on where you go to. And um, this one was also a lot different because I'm working in a central office, not like an actual like clinical site specifically. So a lot of the questions I kind of have to be like very broad in my understanding of it, just because it could impact more than one hospital at a time. But sometimes the questions were also just for individual hospitals. So to give you an example for this, like um, I was asked a question about how if I can use um, insulin an hour earlier than usual and make the, the actual duration shorter. So you have to actually look up information and actually give a detailed um, answer about whether or not you can use that because we were trying to help patients like sleep better because a lot of patients were getting injected at late at night and it caused them to be up longer and that's not good for patients if they're not sleeping. Um, another question I had was literally about a bladder cocktail for use and I literally had to search up like what is a bladder cocktail like what is the actual like um, in it and I just like had to like figure that out and also like look up the evidence and like look at the different medications like and what should we use for our bladder cocktail at this hospital system um, which is very interesting you know like you do that kind of stuff you have to really research it yourself to know that kind of stuff 
And the interesting thing about this rotation also was that like the style of my preceptor, the way you have to actually answer the question was in this method called IRAC, which is basically like issue, um, relevant laws slash like facts, and then you have to apply the facts and then um, conclusion, which was really interesting because like usually when you answer questions, you usually just like, just like answer like what your information about it was. But my preceptor really focused on like the conclusion part and like what is it that you think you should do, you know, like putting you in the driver's seat and making you really think about if you should be the one that's uh, recommending this. At all the information that you research, what, what was your decision on that? And that was really hard to like change my mindset about that because usually you're used to like just like answering questions, but like he really was like, yeah, like this is going to be what your actual thing is going to be, um, like what your actual decision is going to be, which is a lot different than what you're doing in school because in school you don't really learn to like be very decisive about this and kind of like take all the facts into play and also like use what you know about the hospital and like how patients are treated to actually help them improve their quality of care. So that was pretty interesting to do that. Um, I thought I really enjoyed that experience, just like really focusing on the conclusion part of things and not just focusing on like giving out an answer that's like uh, based on the facts. Really focusing on, okay, if you were in the driver's seat right now, what would you do? So the main responsibility that we actually had to go through was the P&T committee, which basically stands for like the Pharmacy and Therapeutics Committee. Um, basically, this could be a lot different as well for each place you go to, but since I was in a central office, um, for a hospital system, this basically just means like more for like um, care for every single person or most hospitals. Sometimes we have to actually segment it though to each individual hospital or certain practices just because of the medication that are being used. But basically, this could be, it could be a lot of different things based on where you go to. Since we're doing the PNT committee, my main role was um, working on like formulary stuff. So basically, on like adding and subtracting medications or like making medications very exclusive. So with that being said, when you're adding medication, the main thing you look for is like, the main key points was if it's safe, if it's efficacious, like is it actually effective? Is it um, different than other medications? And also like, can you actually um, afford it? Like is it cost effective? I think those are the four things that we really focused on to make sure like you give recommendation on medications. But we have different formats for each thing. So when we actually had to create the content for the PNT committee, we had to actually work on like executive summary, um, comparative analysis of it, in justification, you have to look at like the formulary list, if it actually will cover my medications, the side effect profiles, the drug shortages, like is it actually can you actually order the medication. So these are things we have to look for and we have to actually make content on it and like we have to make it in that format um, every single time. As well as the PowerPoint, you have to make work on the like, of action, the pharmacology, indications, usage, and then once again going over the formulary, side effect profile, those kind of things. So it's interesting because like when you're actually making the content for it, you actually had to like really compress the information very well, especially because you're only having around one to two pages to really make this entire um, PNT like for that drug. Like each individual drug you have to actually make one for, and you really have to focus on okay, what's the most important thing that I want people to know about this medication, or on the PowerPoint, and that really forces you to really understand like okay, what other medications that are being used in this uh, case, or what other medications used in this class or medications used for the disease state. Those are very important things to ask yourself as well as like, would you really recommend this medication? And then if it's very expensive medication, would you only recommend it to a certain population? Like for only for outpatients or only inpatients. So um, that's another thing I really enjoyed about that rotation was that like, since I had so much autonomy, it really forced you to really um, put yourself into the mindset of like, what am I actually gonna do? as opposed to like just like answering the question and going back to it. It took us a couple of days to usually do um, each one. And uh, like eventually we got into a habit of actually understanding kind of like the style. So that way it allowed us to do a lot better. But at first it was very difficult because you really just like start off from scratch, figuring out like, okay, um, how do I put this into a short document that people are like doctors and physicians um, slash pharmacists are looking at as well as like the administration office is looking at so that way they can actually like use this medication or not use medication. Like what should they really know about this medication? And you have to also go to the clinical trials and make sure it actually makes sense to actually use medication obviously. So yeah, it's a lot of things you have to go over and you have to really compress all the information to like basically a page or two and a PowerPoint until like, it'd be like four to five slides about the medication. So if you guys really want to, I can actually go over the PMT committee in a little more detail as opposed to like going and going over like the broad um, definition.
definition of it. But I think overall, like, it's different in every place you go to. So it's kind of like you have to learn by fire, like trial by fire. But if you really want to go over it, leave a comment down below and I'll go over um, the process that we went through, prior rotation. So on top of all the responsibilities that I had to go through, I was also the chief intern. So basically, I had to manage the formulary, the uh, PNT committee, as well as the drug information questions, and I had to also manage my colleagues. So the main thing I learned from that rotation was like, when you're the chief intern, I basically had to answer questions from my preceptor or like whenever a preceptor got asked questions, I got like basically the first person that he asked was me and then I had to distribute the task to each person in my rotation, my fellow colleagues that were from either my school or different schools. And it was very interesting because like you don't really learn about how to manage like yourself as well as manage other people. So you kind of have to like work around like the task and actually like delegate tasks to each person. So like sometimes I delegate tasks to like the best person that knew could finish the task. It's not some people may have struggled with tasks or they didn't like understand what's going on and you kind of have to like um, help them out a little bit here and there. As well as like my own tasks that I had to deal with. So it was very interesting like being in that kind of role because I never really experienced like me where I had to like, I had a deadline or deliverables that had to be done as well as helping someone else with theirs. And then on top of that, I kind of have to review other interns, like the other interns that are there, I had to review their work. So a lot of times, like, if they were doing the PNT, uh, they were working on the PowerPoint or working on, like, the executive summary of things, I had to, like, kind of, like, look at it a little ahead of time, just to make sure, because like, the deadline was maybe on a Monday or, like, a Friday, I would, like, look at it, like, on, like, Wednesday or, like, Thursday, just to, like, make sure they're like, going in the right direction. Yeah, so when I made that video, it actually told me a lot about how to manage tasks. Like, we, since I was getting a lot of different questions from my preceptor, in terms of, like, drug information questions on top of, like, the PNT committee, you kind of had to, like, navigate that, because, like, say the PNT committee is due in, like, three weeks, obviously the drug information question you do first, because that's the highest priority thing, and then you have to, like, manage the PNT afterwards. But then also you get other tasks that you have to get due, done from the formulary list, so then you have to, um, from someone asking you to do that, so you have to constantly, like, navigate those things as well as delegating tasks so like that's why it was so important for me to actually read that book and understand like how to manage people as well as managing tasks and obviously i'm still working on it but it was just good experience overall about leadership and also like how to be manage time management very well as well as being productive in the time period and then also the main thing is too is that like i didn't want to be the kind of person that like micromanaged another person so i wanted to like make sure like they were doing their own thing but at the same time, you kind of want to make sure that they know, like, okay, like, you're there for them if they need help. So I think overall the rotation was very good for me because I got to work on skills that I didn't really know about. As well as the fact that I got to basically, like, lead the PNT because I was basically the one that was making all the content for the PNT. As well as, like, the minutes and stuff like that. And, like, but obviously I wasn't, like, the one approving it and all that other stuff. But, like, I was basically the one that was making all the content for it. So... Being the kind of person that like does most of the responsibilities and like also managing other people will always be a good experience. So my overall conclusion of this rotation was that this rotation was actually very good for me, especially because my preceptor was very demanding of me. So um, it was very good for me just because I was never in a position to like really manage that kind of responsibilities as well as like give my input on things. So that rotation really taught me how to actually like manage myself, manage other people, Manage our preceptor because you have to also like be able to like look them look good, as well as the fact like I failed a lot in that rotation just because like there was no precedent sometimes about how to do certain tasks and it was very vague sometimes the questions that were being asked. So like being put in that scenario of like being very resourceful, autonomous, really forced you to really learn fast and really like get your hands dirty, which is something I really really enjoy about that rotation. And yeah, I think that's something that I think is very important to learn is that like there's so many different skill sets that are not taught in school, that you can really experience on rotations. And it's just like seeking out those challenges is always gonna be beneficial for you. Because in the future, like when you're outside doing the real world, you know, um, and you have your license, these things are not gonna be taught to you and it's not really in a controlled environment. At least in rotation, at least I can like do these things and not feel as much pressure um, just because like there's someone else watching me. So that really helped me like, just like, do my best and hopefully like learn along the way. And it really forced me, like I said before, to like read that book, um, The Seven Habits of High Effective People. Overall, I think that's the most important thing is that you're constantly learning. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of my video. 
Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next time. Peace out. Bye.